amazing. Wesley has still found his moments to handle uh, Dennis's uh, chest pretty effectively because he's put yeah. him in spots that he's been uncomfortable in, and, and he's found a way to get him to blunder. Couldn't agree more. And again, uh, it's been closely contested, super accurate for both players, but it feels if anyone should have a lead, it kind of feels like it should be Wesley, just given the recent memory of what happened in the 3-1 portion there in those final moments. If you're just tuning in, lucky for you, we're deadlocked and the bullet will be dramatic. But yeah, I think you'd agree that it feels like Wesley should have a game, a game lead or so, but he doesn't. And now you just, you got to get the job done here in the fastest segment. Yeah, uh, I wonder if we're going to see again, you know, A5, because it, it feels like we're back in that position again. Uh, A5, Bishop, D5. But this is bullet. We might see players even bring out a certain style that they haven't played at all in the match yet. But knowing Wesley and Dennis, I feel like these are maybe the, the two guys of any competitor who would absolutely play their normal repertoire in bullet as yep. well. Creatures of habit and confidently so confident creatures of habit and i think you have reasons to be in both players camp if you're a coach and 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 say that that's the right strategy you're like wesley you should be winning right now just get the job done don't lose on time in that game and and lots of it you're like hey man you're dead locked don't change a damn yeah. thing right just yeah. just keep at it yeah truly um there's a lot a lot of good to see from both sides there because uh wesley put in that same spot is not going to mess that result up so just do everything the same and, and try to put yourself there again. It's funny. Computer doesn't like this position for Black. Uh, Lazovic takes the pawn. Wesley says, I'm happy with this exchange. You pointed out, Amon. It's not just B7. It's A6 and then maybe A5. And that's why Lazovic plays C5 to try to get that pawn. Yeah. For some reason, this position looks like definitely very, very loose. Like A6, D6 are all under attack. But it's more so the Black King that... Yeah, is concerning. So I imagine that white would want to keep the queens on the board. Yeah, agreed. Queen e4 almost looked like it wins because it double attacks, but black has bishop g8. The mm -hmm. queen drops back, and she'll pick up the a6 pawn. Okay, 20 seconds here. Of course, there is that increment, but black with the pass pawn here, Yeah, you feel like it should be only black playing for something, but the problem is the black king is not out in the position at all so remains to be seen yeah probably should be yet another draw <laughs> we've been talking if you're just tuning in we've had a lot of draws today these guys it hasn't been it's been amazing we're on the edge of our seats but these guys have found the best moves when it matters most and sometimes it's just that means you don't you don't get a decisive result as we said draws are people too don't judge the result wait this turned around what happened uh he was maybe just expecting that everything would be a draw and just careless that's that's a loss out of absolutely nowhere danny he was just like liquidating pawns but you can't catch that h pawn i'm asking mittens what happened here i don't know I, what, like you me anything nothing nothing wow. anybody got you... anything <laughs> how did that just happen? i was just about to go down the draw the draw line draws are people too don't judge the fact that we're starting the fastest portion with a peaceful result turns out wesley had other ideas well i think what you meant to say was if you've just joined us you picked a fantastic time and you have actually brought the decisive results yep. with you the suspicious uh, sports fan in me says, whatever you are, stay right there, fan. Whichever one of you just sat down in that weird position where you've got the remote, don't move so that we have decisive chess for the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah, if you're posturing in that, like, I'm not sure I want to sit down and watch this show position, kind of leaning on the couch, just stay there. Yeah. Stay there. Back problems be damned. Hold the fort. All right. Now Wesley is uh, back to facing the Catalan from Lazovic. He's been here before, but I like this. I did. I'd like this one a lot for White. Queen e2 was not to be favored, but feels like a good space advantage for Dennis. It does. The d pawn is the concern here. Uh, I'm kind of wondering about Queen e3, but the move c5 is just so so quick. So I'm trying to figure mm. out how to play this happened? properly. Like I'm almost looking at Knight b3. But then I'm never taking the e-pawn back. So I don't know. This looks uncomfortable. I just have to play knight takes e4 and hope. Well, it's nice when, when the eval bar drops and you know exactly why. The queen went to e2 and it went from white having an edge to black having an edge. And it was for the most yeah. obvious line play. d takes e4, 
Wesley won the deep one. And Lazovic, you saw him shaking his head there a little bit. Like he got this comfortable position I'm on and the nerves are getting to him or something. Yeah, because, okay, in this position, only black can be doing well. Worst case, uh, white wins their pawn back and shouldn't really be much better. But, you know, in bullet, this is a lot different from a longer blitz game. I see one pawn advantage with no way to get it back for white. And I'm, immediately I'm like, okay, huge advantage for black. Yeah. The D file is owned. The bishop is bad and has to guard C6. So that's one pressure point that Lazovic controls. And okay, he wants e4, it. Hitting the pawn. Yeah, that's, that's oh, a powerful D3. move. Three. Wesley says the pawn is too fast. D2, bishop f5, bishop c2, something. I don't know. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That was my idea was this, but apparently computer said queen c3 was better. But f3, even bishop f5, bishop e4 is always there. So I'm wondering about uh -huh. that as well. Wait. Now bishop e6 threatens bishop to c4 check, and if king e3, rook d3 check. Oh, that's the idea. Amazing. So rook d3 and f5 to remove wow. the king? And Wesley, so... And you, yeah, I was going to say, you don't even take. Amazing. You don't even take. Wesley, so, flexly, so, if you're canty, is going to go on to win his second bullet game in a row. Wow. And uh, apparently Wesley was waiting for bullet all along. I, I don't know so what's going no on. But we had, or it's whoever that guy is. It's a... It's, uh, Whoever it is, it's home. It's Carl. Carl, you're out there. Stay put, Carl. Let your back be thrown out. Lean over the couch. Keep watching the Speech Chess Championship and get decisive results. That was, that was a hilarious sentence. Um, <laughs> um, Carl, I don't know. I don't know what Carl, uh, you know, poor Carl. <laughs> we love you, Carl. Yep. <laughs> um, I think in this spot right now, you, you have the first instance of the two-point lead. It's never happened, right? 9-7. Yep. I know there's still a yep. lot of the bullet segment to play for, but we truly haven't seen anything like this. And Wesley could just run away in the bullet unless uh, Dennis can bring it back. Yeah. Uh it feels like it's happened so fast. I'm on where suddenly we have 17 minutes to go and Wesley's up yeah. by two games. And how did we get here? The look at the body language from, from Dennis. Yeah. It's so, so different. He's like doubting himself, maybe playing uh, his theory a little bit too fast because I mean, right here, we're in a spot that black's not supposed to be in. This is a old theoretical variation, but this is just no good. I mean, yeah. you keep the Bishop here. The knight on h3 is terrible, and this is uncharacteristic Dennis Lazovic. Agreed. And the knight might get trapped, by the way. Okay, g5 ensures that if g4 happens, you get a knight f4, but I was just about to highlight that there are weird ways where this knight actually just gets trapped where it stands. Yeah, and even if it doesn't get trapped, there's going to be, it feels like, some advantage to extract from the knight on h3. Indeed, and... Maybe f5 is premature if black has rookie eight, but f5 blocks the bishop. The g4 pawn is hanging. This position feels like it is hanging by a thread. And Literally. ever since we entered the bullet portion, Wesley has been up on the clock in every game. Yep, and you could also just... Uh, it's interesting you decided to take. I was almost going to say bishop takes on e6, or on c4 and pawn e6. Trap the bishop on c8 or something, but... Um, okay, decides to bring the... Bishop to f4. Interesting, allowing yeah. that knight out. He wanted to win the pawn the clean way. Uh, taking on g4 would not have been a good idea for Dennis. That knight on d4 is a bit of a unicorn dominating right now. Yeah, this position is very, uh, very straightforward for Wesley to play. Easy pressure on f6, but Black's going to try with rook a4. Wow, that's a great move. Yeah. 
Knight g5 takes advantage of the pin, the double attack, the knight's journey is very real. Take that, Frodo. Now who has the more dangerous journey? The knight. <laughs> Knight g5, rook h2, and d4? Are we having serious problems here? No, the knight just gets back. Just gets back in time. The rook ending should... Whoa! What's going on? Bullet's going on. But Bullet. White has these connected pass pawns, so I feel like you've always got it. Um, yeah, I was about to say the same thing before it got wild, and both sides are now riding under five seconds, and we've already seen Wesley lose on time in a spot like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this uh, this has to be a win for for Wesley once again, yep. and the time is being eaten away from that match clock, and the score just keeps going up. <laughs> I am sh shocked. I guess in hindsight, I'm not surprised that Wesley is 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 turning on whatever, turning on on the mojo, the juice. Right? He's he's a flex. He's flexly so. He's a uh, he says alter ego. He went from Wesley so to Flexley so, and now he's dominating. But I guess I'm surprised that Lazovic just looks so uncomfortable in the bullet portion. Yeah, uh, I, I do think that the results are playing uh, a factor here. Because, yeah. for example, that last game, it just looked like he sped through his theory in the wrong order. And we've never seen that from him. So it's almost yeah. like the last game was still playing in his head a little bit. Uh can't really say for sure there, but other than that, I don't know. Wesley is just so consistent. He's the same throughout, and nothing seems to affect him or or get him down. Like remember, we're looking back on that game that he flagged, but he was completely winning, Danny, and he, like nothing, unfazed. Well, if he does go on to win the match, I'm definitely going to ask him like, what was going on, dude? <laughs> like, and also something you you said very. Uh, kind of casually in the in the early stages of this match I'm on I want to come back to you kind of made a point that Wesley just he has a he has a cool character even after a loss like he recovers super well sort of short-term memory loss and yep. I think that that held true even more so if you're just tuning in everyone lots of struck first in this match early on in the 5-1 portion and Amon was pointing out that Wesley recovered continued to play well and eventually even things up but Losing that one on time, when you're in a dead winning position, dude, that breaks your heart. It drops your gut. Yet, Wesley just doesn't get rattled in those spots. It's like emotionless in all the right ways. Yeah. Yeah, it gives him that sense of, like, objectivity, which is, uh, you know, what every chess player tries to, to get. It's so difficult to do. But okay, we have a three-game match. I guess we'll focus on the chess here. It is still within striking distance easily for Dennis Lazovic. If he can get a dub and get back on the board, right now he's got what looks almost to be a dangerous attack, but what to do next? Yeah, I was going to say we're almost like, uh, like it looks so good, but Black is one to two moves away from D4, and every bishop was looking at the white king. So kind of a scary, yeah. scary position. D4 is going to happen. Um, I can guarantee that. Yeah, and now that we're here, and now that Dennis is under 10 seconds, back to the storyline of, is this about to continue to be a runaway for Wesley So? Yep, and Bullet, this is not easy to do, not easy to handle. He's going to take, but the D-pawn is strong, and you know Black can play G5 after a queen exchange and bring the king in really easily. Yeah, looks like it's a, it's a game that only Black can win right now with the pass D-pawn. And the attack has disappeared for Dennis. Yeah, because you can always uh, play Rook D8. And we all know that a draw is exactly the result that Wesley's after. I mean, you could yep. just draw the rest of the games. So Dennis has to make... He essentially has to do exactly what Wesley has done to him so far. He needs to put together three bullet wins in a row. And yep. uh, that I mean, Wesley kind of made it look easy, but he's got to do the exact same thing. We went from a lot of draws to three decisive games to start the bullet portion, all in Wesley So's favor. That is the first draw of the one plus one segment. We have ten and a half minutes to go. You see that clock ticking down like your ominous, judgmental, whatever overlord saying, "Speed up." Mm hmm. Bishop G four kind of feels like a strange move um, because I, I was going to say I'm not even convinced that you want to take it but 
interestingly, uh, he does take. I actually don't think that's a good move. Yeah, it's weird. I love that you said bishop g4 is weird precisely because you don't really want to take it, but he does it. Now white has the bishop pair, and the g-file is more helpful for the first player than it is for black. Yeah, and uh, you also... I was going to say, when you take on g3, normally you'd want to play h takes g3 and then f4. Yep. Uh -huh. You get a really nice push, but that would be the worst move on the board. I got to show it just because I got nothing else to do. And I have the mouse and everyone else is going to sit tight. Whoop! There you go. That's <laughs> Jekyllina Schlamba. And Oops. that's not what Wesley did. <laughs> so we're back to the live game. All right. Quick checkmate. Rook g6. Yeah, I, I, I think white is just like cruising here it's so easy to play maybe rook g2 mm. just to defend f2 so you can mobilize the queen like queen h5 it should be five it should be five he just blundered bishop b5 great spot oh, yes they didn't see it yeah Blazovic put his head in his hand the moment he played it okay now he's down a pawn but i wonder if wesley realizes that he missed it bishop b5 yeah i feel like he might see it now um rook takes h6 it's not actually a threat, right? It's it's not, and this is not over all of a sudden. I mean, look, c5 was a blunder, but if you don't see bishop b5, you have to like c5 from Dennis, right? Because now black has play, and now the c3 pawn is weak, so... Yep. you got to eliminate this knight, I think. Okay, white almost has to, like, switch to, like, bring the queen back. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm almost worried that my pieces are going to be... Stuck over there. Wait, there's rook takes h6. Now the rook's on d8. Oh my god. Yeah. Because now queen f6 a... and you can't block with rook g7. It's oh, over. that's a big mistake. That might be the, the match, the, the dagger in your heart um, to your hopes of winning or even coming back to tie this match. Well time sacrifice by Wesley, who was sitting on rook takes h6 for a while yep. and yep. realized that it wasn't working, wasn't working, and that. These are the conditions I need. And as soon as he saw it, he went for it. Brilliant move. Rook takes h6. Given the brilliant symbol, deservedly so. You know how sometimes you see people sharing their memes on social media. I got a brilliant symbol. And you look at it. And be honest, as a grandmaster, you judge it. You say that's not really that brilliant of a move. Come on. Come on. Be I honest. Always, I always keep it real. So if I see uh, what I like to <laughs> refer to as a Danny brilliancy... Uh, a chess.com participation brilliancy. I make sure to inform people. <laughs> okay, but that was a good... I mean, look, it doesn't have to be brilliant on the levels of craziness to say, like, no, it's nice when you can good. stack a rook for a win. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, so I didn't deserved. know you made fun of it and called it a Danny, Danny brilliancy. Is that what you call it on the chess bro streams? A chess.com participation award? <laughs> yeah, the, the, it's the, uh, you know, excited for you to re-up your membership brilliancy. <laughs> I That's love that. I, I love it. Well, good, good for a lot of people is you can get a brilliant move even even with a free membership. But you should but hey, go Danny, premium. There, there's it's a reason perfect. why we all get that dopamine rush from the brilliant right. seeds. The chess.com right. color selection, just that hey. aquamarine. Oh, it's That's so right. so sweet. I, I love it. It. Go, it goes well with everything. Aquamarine. Oh, Look at that. It goes it. well with everything. <laughs> Beautiful move. Arok takes d5, and Dennis Lazovic is literally like clinging to uh, yeah. his life in this event because that that move at least gives us something to talk about in these last couple games because it's he's yeah. maybe not quite out of it. And Wesley So is going to show us how he's going to make sure it's only a couple more games. That's why he didn't resign. He's going to try mm -hmm. to get at least another minute or two off the clock here to make that comeback even harder. Yeah, no, he definitely do not want to uh, resign on this spot. We saw Ooh. Ali Reza doing that uh, very nicely in his match. Uh, yep. Hikaru does that, I think, the best of anyone. Uh, probably gets more hate than anyone for doing it. I think, you know, undo, because that's a totally legitimate strategy. And, um, you know, I feel, feel like people do that in, like, the FIFA World Cup or the Euro Cup all the time. And yep. uh, that's just part of the game. It's part of the game. I mean, you've seen it every sport. You see dribble out the clock. You see, you yeah. know, running the ball, refusing to play for, you know, high-risk possessions in football, which, of course, the opposing defense just wants you to pass it. Give me a chance for an interception. But yeah. anyway, obviously, comparisons aren't perfect. But I agree. It's part of the meta. I think uh, Hikaru was the first one to really start doing it aggressively, and everyone has those moments of remembering it. So, that you know, that's where I think a lot of the, 
that Hikaru hates started for doing that. But I think it is, I think it is a fair strategy. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. This is uh, well done here because E5, rookie six, it was all leading, leading somewhere. But to be honest, like, could you ask for a longer game? No. <laughs> than Wesley <laughs> is producing here. Like, this is perfect. Yeah. Now he gives the fork, right, as we said. Oh, but okay. I, Sorry, Wesley. No, no, but you're right. You're right. And I was just about to say, when did we when did we call that he was going to get another minute or two off the clock? I think at right about six minute mark. And so that's that's how you make sure you get the match victory. He's going to let the final few seconds roll off. Lazovic knows what he's doing. And again, if you're new to the speech as championship, the players are competing against multiple enemies. Their opponent, the time within the game, our commentary, but also the clock that's ticking down above them and uh, yep. Wesley's protecting his lead. And let's not uh, forget it was six minutes in about 15 seconds. Uh, so Danny, two minutes uh, elapsed since we saw that. And it's like, okay, with six minutes, you can dream of starting, uh, you know, a bunch of games and making a comeback. But all of a sudden that game doesn't end until four minutes are on the match clock and you need three points. So you need to finish the two games and then barely start the third one. So I think there's still an outside chance, but depending when this game finishes, and of course with what result, Dennis has to win it with the black pieces here, uh, we'll know whether or not these are going to be a stressful last couple of games or more of a victory lap. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, I always want stress down the stretch because I'm looking for more reasons to... You know, to need that therapy. You know me, looking for looking for that. But jokes aside, I'm not. I'm I'm okay with this one rolling up here. It's been a long day, and I think if Wesley still gets this one, he'll officially punch his ticket to the quarterfinals. Yeah, and definitely we see uh, Dennis playing very quickly and doing a good job uh, at that because that's needed. You you have to play with pace. Uh, unfortunately. If if you need more time to think about a move, you just might not have it. So we'll see what his instincts can do. Yep. Yeah, almost the result is less important than the fact that you still have time on the total clock to get the job done. So you're right. It's about playing fast. Wesley yep. is locking it up. Locking it up. But black is better. Okay, look. This is, E3, though. Remember, yeah. if the game even starts before the total clock runs out, it counts. So Wesley's in a great spot. But if Dennis converts this one, it, it's still possible. Yeah, the thing is, there's about two minutes left. Um, yeah. Wesley needs to essentially lose this game now. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> the other game has to start. But Wesley, I know he only has 10 seconds, but you're going to get plus one every move. So just imagine it's 10 seconds plus yeah. how many moves he can make before losing. And yeah. that's easily you know 20 moves so that's 30 seconds right there it's quite a lot of time and, and i think i was yep. talking bare minimums i think you're right and i think that with that he's gonna say good night gonna tuck the young one in dennis lazovic the day may come in the future but today is not that day and he might uh, not even be winning yeah and now he's not even winning anymore bishop takes g6 is a is a is a threat yeah Oof. Oh, wait. Yeah. Nope. Not yet. Yeah, I think he wanted to like play bishop g6, hg6, and then they both get a queen, but uh, Wesley's not even allowing that. Now he gets f5, which will renew the threat of g6 in a different way. And yeah, uh, so Wesley, I mean, like, so... look, if we're, we're talking about, hey, can he finish this game in time? It's like, no, yeah. Wesley wasn't even giving up on the game itself and you know the right strategy to just stay in the moment because not only may he not lose this game but he has officially gotten the job done in the process wesley so moves on to the quarterfinals with this draw uh regardless of the result of this final game that's right and there is enough time for one final game to start but obviously not playing for anything the body language uh speaks volumes here as I don't think Dennis really got into this bullet segment properly. It just never felt like he found his footing because right off the bat, it was, you know, that game that should have been a draw. And yeah. that just set the tone for the bullet. It should have been a routine draw, much like the draws we've seen throughout the entire match. 
And because of that one result, it just spiraled from there, Danny. Agreed. And it's also even more surprising because all the momentum from the 3-1 segment was favoring Dennis, right? Wesley was the one who had just lost on time in a winning position. Wesley was the one who was winning, but then had given up the lead. And you felt like, you know, the emotional momentum was was in Dennis's favor. So add that uh, to the to the list of reasons to be surprised, I guess, in terms of how quickly the train went off the tracks for him in the bullet segment. Yeah, agreed. Obviously, the match clock uh, legitimately expired now. So if it wasn't official now, it's official official. That, that Wesley is is moving on regardless here, but the guys will play this out by the looks of it. And isn't it poetic when you know the guy losing the match still gets that one win at the end? I feel like that's kind of yeah. common in these matches. It happens a lot, and uh, the queen nearly gets herself trapped in the middle of the board. That doesn't happen often, but she'll be relegated to the queen side while Dennis launches an attack on the king side after uh, taking on F6. No, wait. No, he's going to try to defend the double pawns, but then he loses a piece. So, yeah. Um, it happens a lot. Some cash exchanged, a few more dollars in Dennis Lazovic's pocket here. Wesley lets the clock run out. And uh, don't go anywhere, everybody. Now's your chance, fans, to give us some great questions. We will certainly have an interview.